Tonight, construction underway in Pulaski County, building the state's first of its kind tiny home village for the homeless. And the woman behind the project gave us updates on the progress at today's Little Rock Rotary Club meeting. THV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us how it's going and the difference it will make for the unhoused. So phase one is, is underway. We've been working on things behind the scenes for quite a while. Now dirt is turning and the land is clear to build Providence Park, a tiny home village for the unsheltered in Pulaski County. But CEO Aaron Stanger says there's more to it than just homes. What this really is about it is about a full community support around these individuals. It's the entire neighborhood of care and support. And that's why this is just completely new and, and different um, here, here in Arkansas. The plan is to build 400 tiny homes on these 50 acres off of Chico Road. And to make it more of a community feel, they're also building a community center, a fabrication lab for neighbors to work, and a medical clinic. I pray and hope that it's gonna make a huge impact to lift them off of the streets. And to help the unhoused temporarily, Rotary members made some care packages for them at Tuesday's meeting. Nate Coulter with Central Arkansas Library System helped make it happen. A lot of people are coming to the library this time of year to escape the heat, or in four, five, six months, they'll be coming in the library to get out of the elements that are colder. But now they have this supplies to give them when they come into Cal's. And people could go through the line and we purchased a bunch of things. They put them in these nice two, about two gallon uh, Ziploc bags that Rotary had, so it's a good opportunity for people to get their uh, hands involved with something that's going to be handed out in our libraries over the coming days. Thanks to Central Arkansas Library System and the staff that was here today to help make that possible. And thanks to Rotary for letting us do that for the first time and getting to fill those bags. I'm excited those will be used instantly. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Brooke, thank you. Stanger says they hope to move people into Providence Park by next summer, and if you'd like to donate, We've got ways to do it. It's on our website, THV11.com.